Robert Sala, 16 and 32 overall record, Ooh. 2 and 13 in December. That came from a Jets fan who said, What are we doing? Another Jets fan goes, What does Sala do during the games? <laughs> we've seen him, we've seen him hard knocks. Mm -hmm. He gives some speeches, uh -huh. he walks around in practice. Sure. But during games, is there any decisions or anything done by Coach Sala? I assume you're getting a lot of the similar stuff. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers was supposed to be the quarterback this year. We know that yeah. more than Anybody, yeah. everybody on earth. It hasn't worked out that way. They, I don't want to say, they seemingly just decided they were going to punt on this season. And it's like, everything we wanted to do this year, we'll do next year. But it's a long 17 games that you have to get through with that particular decision. Is that still the mindset going into next year over there? That everything that was supposed to happen this year will happen next year, no matter how loud it gets from Jets fans about wanting change and wanting a new look? Because they're in a situation now where they had it. Now they don't have anything. Do they want to – like, what, what do you think happens with the Jets? How do you think this plays I, out? I think that's the hope is that the season that got – curtailed and cut off on the fourth play of their first game in the Monday night opener this year, they want to see what that is, how that looks and how it would be. And I think if Aaron Rodgers had played for the jets this year, I think they would have been competitive. I think they would have made the playoffs if he was healthy all year long. And I think it would have been an entirely different year. And I think they think that, just his presence alone, if he's out there and they get totally different play at the quarterback position, uh, that they would have been competitive and they would have had a chance. And I think they want to run it back. That's what I think they want to do. Give him a chance the way that they thought they were doing when they brought him in here and traded for him to see what he can do here in New York. So, yes, I, I think he's back. I think Sal is back. You lose a game like that and everybody is wondering what's going on. They're officially eliminated from the playoffs. And I, mean, I can't believe... Like, they have the longest streak of any team in sports. Yeah. Any team in sports. Yep. Basketball, baseball, hockey, Across. football. Mm -hmm. 13 years of not making the postseason. Like, that's that's incredible Yikes. to me. Yeah, and, they stink. And I think that they, they are counting on Aaron Rodgers to be the guy that snaps that streak and gets them back to the postseason. And you know what? Their fans deserve that. The organization deserve. I feel bad for everybody because I even spoke to somebody in the building this morning. It's like, it's depressing. It's and you're like, what, what the hell is going on here? Why can't they get it right? And they just, I think all the instability at the quarterback position through injury, through other factors, has just worked against this team. It's really in this sport, if you're not getting consistent, solid quarterback play, you're not going to win. It's it, it's so simple and it's so true. Yeah. Right. Like you got a quarterback get a chance. By the way, going to this weekend with all the quarterback injuries. <laughs> All going into this weekend with all the quarterback injuries, every first place team had a quarterback that hadn't missed a game this year to do to injury. Every single one in first place. A lot of injuries this year to the quarterback mm -hmm. position, but also a lot of teams still in it. Yeah. Like there's a lot of teams that are somehow mathematically still involved. If the Jets would have been able to do that, just stay in it. That dude yeah. is coming back. Oh, Did yeah. you see it? He's up oh, on yeah. his toes mm -hmm. right there. That is, uh, this is a video that was sent in from iRocky83 <laughs> on Instagram, was recording Aaron on the sideline. The big question is, can he get up on his, can he get up mm -hmm. on his toe? You know, because how, how tight they kill. Boom. Oh. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Aaron's yeah. three yeah. right there. That's good reporting. That's good journalism, iRocky. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my question. Again, he, he if he wanted, he could get medical clearance to play. 